For your first 3D model, let's sculpt a one-eyed funny or ugly creature. Move your cursor to the bottom of the ZBrush interface to open Lightbox. Choose the project section, then double click on the default sphere to load a simple sphere. This model already has several levels of subdivision, and symmetry will already be activated across the x-axis. In the tool palette, which is by default open on the right shelf, go to the geometry menu and move the subdivision slider to the lowest level, 1, or press the shortcut Shift D twice. Go to the brush thumbnail on the left shelf and click on it to open the pop-up menu. Choose the Move Elastic Brush by clicking on it. Now let's tweak the sphere's overall shape with this brush. Use a large draw size to make global tweaks. You can access the main brush settings by pressing the spacebar or right-clicking the mouse. Sculpt by simply clicking and dragging across your model's surface. Feel free to let your imagination run wild, but try to avoid stretching the polygons too much to prevent unexpected behavior at later stages. When you've accomplished as much as you can at level 1 and can't refine the shape anymore, go up to the next subdivision level by pressing D. Now that you have 4 times as many polygons, you'll be able to refine the shape further. Once totally satisfied with the overall shape, go to the highest level of subdivision of your existing model, which in this case should be 3, by again pressing the D key. Go to the brush selector on the left shelf, click on it to open the pop-up menu and choose the clay built-up brush. Now let's start sculpting the base mesh a little bit and add more rough details to this funny creature. As you may notice, it's not easy to sculpt details as the model doesn't have enough polygons. To add more details, press Tool Geometry Divide to create a new subdivision level. Use the clay brush to make finer details. Once you finish sculpting with the clay brush, try other brushes like Inflate to magnify areas or Pinch to pull points towards your brush stroke. Now it's time to add an eyeball to our one-eyed creature with the help of subtools. Subtools are other 3D objects connected to the main tool. Append a sphere to create an eyeball for your creature. The sphere has now been added to your object, but it may not be at a good position or a good size. To change the size and position, you must first select the sphere in the subtool list. To do this, turn on transparency mode so you can see the sphere clearer. To change the size of the eye, go to the tool deformation palette and use the size slider. This will dynamically change the size of the object while moving the slider. Now that your eye is a good size, you must put it in a good position. While holding the shift key, click and drag in an empty part of the canvas to rotate your model to the side with a 90 degree constraint making it perfectly aligned in the side view. Now switch to Move Mode, located in the top shelf. Press and hold the Alt key and click and drag your eye to find the best position. When satisfied, click Draw located next to the Move switch to go back to the Sculpting Mode. Turn Transparency off and turn Perspective back on by pressing P again. Now continue sculpting your alien body to refine it since the addition of the eye may have sparked some new ideas. Now it's time to add color. First make sure that Draw RGB is active. Go to the color square on the left shelf and choose a base color. Then in the color palette, click the Fill Object button to fill your object with the base color. Now disable Z Add to stop the brush from sculpting. RGB is already active, which is what you need to paint color. Pick the standard brush to start painting. Go back to the color picker and choose a color to paint some variations or details. Check the draw size of your brush, the focal shift of your brush which will define how sharp or soft the stroke's border is, and the RGB intensity which will define the opacity of your color. You can also modulate your brush by loading or selecting from different alphas which are simple grayscale patterns. You can find them in the alpha palette or by clicking on the alpha icon on the left shelf. Use the color spray alpha to create a speckled look on the skin of your creature. 
Don't forget to switch to your eye and paint it too. Redo the fill object operation with a base color and paint it. To paint circular strokes, go to the transform palette, activate symmetry, switch to the z-axis and disable the x-axis. Just below you have a small R button, which is for radial symmetry. Enable it and increase the slider value to 16. Your brush will now draw 16 strokes at the same time around the z-axis. Now it's time for a quick render of your model. To do this, press the BPR icon located on the top of the right shelf, or by pressing Shift-R. After a few seconds your image is rendered. Go to the document palette and click on the export button to save your image into your portfolio. This short and simple tutorial isn't enough to show you all of ZBrush's amazing features. Those explained above are just a tiny fraction of what ZBrush can do. For more tutorials, please visit my website at carlosjacin.wordpress.com.